Hi there, Mark here from Online Guitar Lessons and today I'm just going to do a quick video about restringing uh, vintage style strats because the tuning pegs on these are a little bit different to the ones that uh, some players might be used to which are basically where you put a wrap around, uh, I don't know if you've seen the Telecaster video I did which was an American standard but the tuning pegs basically have a slot through them, you do a wrap, put it through and then tighten up on these ones it's a little bit different generally it's best to try and cut the string to a predetermined length and then you have to actually push it into the middle of the post so for some people uh, that might be a little bit daunting so we're going to have a quick look at that and this is a, a 60s classic player it's one of these uh, custom shop design ones not an expensive guitar but a, a great sounding guitar anyway um, so we'll have a look at that Okay, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video about general string changes because uh, I've covered that in another one. But basically, these these strings are, are fairly loose now, so I'm just going to cut them off with the trusty old pliers. Um, just to explain quickly, I normally keep the scratch plates off my guitars purely and simply because restringing sometimes takes a little bit longer if you've got to try and thread it through the plastic hole, then that hole as well. So it's just for convenience. Um, and obviously you know the strings all feed through and over these saddles one of the strings is off already and the strings I'm using are super slinky Ernie Balls uh, I don't have a sponsorship deal with them or anything so not yet you never know but uh, I, I like those they seem to last quite well tone wise so literally I'm just going to cut the strings I'm pretty brutal with this there's no need to, to mess about some people say oh you know it's not great to have the, the neck with no tension on it but you know it's only for a couple of minutes it's not going to affect the intonation or the playability so I literally cut them off and uh, also that makes it easier just to feed those through the back um, you can literally just grab hold of the string and just push it through and that's that bit through and at the front of the slots here because these strings feed in to get them out it's a lot quicker you just pull them out and that's it nice and simple so we'll do the rest of them and I'll show you how we put them on With the old strings, one little tip I like to do is I like to wrap them up as if they're like, you know, when you get them out of a packet, they're curled up. Simple reason, you know, just, just push them all together and, and just lock them up like that. So they're all kind of wrapped up. Just so when you throw them away, they're not kind of, you know, going all over the place. Simple little tip. Okay, so only balls. When you get them out of the packet, they're all numbered. Nice and easy, so you know what string is going to go where. Cool. Let's put them on. This is my bottom E string. I'm going to put this on first. Now, when you first get these out, you just feed it through the back of the block, over the saddles. Just make sure that when you do that, I'll just hold it up to the camera a bit, that it comes through the saddle a little bit. Sometimes you might have to just jiggle it about a little just to come through. Pull it all the way through so that the ball end there is up against the back of the tremolo block okay so it's nice and secure if you look at the length of this string it's almost it's like virtually a foot longer than the tuning post okay imagine trying to wrap that around it's going to take forever and it's going to make it really untidy and really destabilize the tuning there so what you need to do is the good tip is I'm just going to bring the camera down a touch where the tuning post is, go to about an inch and a half after and just cut the string. Okay. Wow, I've got the world's sharpest pliers now. Done a few string changes. What I like to do, put a little twist on the end of it so that you've got this 90 degree bend there. Okay, and literally push it into the hole. And then, if you keep that pushed down there as you turn the post what you'll see is that it starts to get a bit of tension on there just keep the tension on it as it wraps around okay I'm tuning it up it's got to be the most exciting video you've ever seen I should imagine okay and just make sure that it beds down onto the post properly okay it only takes a few seconds. I don't have one of those magic string winder things. Maybe I should 
invest in one. You can hear tension's coming on there. Okay, and it only took a few seconds. Nice and tidy. And if you look at the string angle there, hopefully it's not gone blurry. You can see it's quite a tidy turn and it has lots of stability for tuning. Okay, so I'm going to get the rest on. That's how you do it. Same thing, about just an inch and a half past each one. Okay, so without getting too excited, if you can just bear with me while I put the next one on, and we'll do the same again just to show you. So I'm going through the back of the block, give it a wiggle, come through the front of the tremolo block, pull it. The reason to pull it tight is because on some of these strings, there's like an area where the, wind, the, the winding makes a little bit of a sticking point. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that when you've got the tension on that, that the string is up against the back of the block, not caught. Because otherwise what will happen is, say that there, it's only about half an inch, a centimetre, something like that. If you pull that through and you've still got that tension left on the string, but it's not all the way back, as you start tightening up, what's going to happen is the string is going to go through like that suddenly and what you'll find is that it might kink the string because you've already put a bend on it to go over the saddle or you know depending on what kind of a turn you've put on here so it does pay just to make sure that's fully up okay we're going to do the same again so exciting about an inch and a half okay I bet the guys at the custom shop fender really jealous of my high quality video same thing again a little bit of a turn on there it doesn't have to be much it doesn't have to be you know super deep it's only got to get a lock on it because if you push the string in you know it only goes down that far anyway so you've only got to put a little bit of a turn on it again it's about half an inch or maybe just a tad more in there start to wind it round okay Get the tension on the on the string, keep that push down. And as it goes around the post, it will start to seat itself. I know this is incredibly exciting. And there you go, it doesn't take an awful lot to get some tension on there. Okay, and I always give my strings a little gentle wiggle and a and a tug. Get the tension on them. Okay, I can't even be bothered to stop the camera and do an edit for this. So this is really quick fire video just to show you how to get these Cluson or vintage style tuners uh, strung nice and, and neatly. Okay, I hope that helps you with your uh, vintage instruments, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.